Hey guys, happy Monday! We are here at Rockefeller Center. This is the latest art installation. Um, here are the details. Uh, Lee B. On display until July 23, 2023. And this is huge. This is... They always have big sculptures here. There are some I like more than others. Um, this is like uh, logs that are been on fire. They're all black. Probably representing the climate change and the catastrophe. What other catastrophe that we're having? I cannot think of anything else this might represent better than the climate change. Also, this is Pride Month and yesterday we had the Pride Parade and we had Pride events all week, um, which is the same week as Mika's birthday. So I had family here and we were basically celebrating <laughs> Mika's birthday and I had time for nothing else. Um, which was fun and now my parents are on their way back home and I need to <laughs> reorganize my life it's like after you go on vacation you need to get back to the beat <laughs> of your daily schedule it's the same because last week was very different it was all about Mika and it should be because she is the most <laughs> important person in our life so we were just walking the rainbow you can see the rainbow flags we saw the sculpture at the entrance you know Rockefeller Center will change the flag according to the the month so for christmas it's gonna be gold and silver flags for fourth of july it's gonna be the american flag and for pride month it's gonna be the rainbow flag uh which is all over the rink all around the rink and also right in the middle you can actually walk on the rainbow I have not done a live video, I think for about a week. Now I'm not sure what was the last one. Feels like forever, really. Um, that's FAO Schwartz. They also have the rainbow flag at the entrance of the store. And this is one of the toy soldiers standing outside. If you come, when they open, they have a special opening ceremony. And we are walking on the rainbow. And on my right is all the rainbow flags around the rink. There has been so much going on. I do not know um where to start i did not i was not attending uh this year pride parade because we did a, a family gathering for mika's birthday i did went there after the parade was over and i got some <laughs> very unusual scenes that are causing um a lot of debate and every time when I cover pride I get comments like this but usually when I cover pride I cover the parade and this time I was just covering some of the chaos um, at Washington Square Park 
I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's pretty chaotic. So it's like unusual scenes and most people have never seen anything like it. Um, but it was not like, it's not part of the parade. It's just the celebrations around it. <laughs> Which can get <laughs> pretty intense. So I thought, I thought the videos are <laughs> good representation of what was happening there. And I thought they were quite entertaining, but um, I've been getting all these comments and I'm like, and the day before I just like shared the video of Mika with her friends and I'm like, I do not want these two videos side by side. I, I can't handle this. So I took it down. So it's no longer there. Um, yeah, I did, uh, I had some very unusual moments there and I'm pretty sure at least one scene uh, I capture maybe two of them with a viral potential, but yeah, it's no longer there. I need to think about it. I don't know what to do really. Also, um, sharing with you all the <laughs> behind the scenes of content creating. Oh, Greece, hi, how are you? Dubai, what's up? I've been away for a while, trying to get back to my schedule. Um, yeah, I don't want to go into the <laughs> pride debate. That's not, not, not something I would like to do right now. Justin, how are you? Hello, Illinois. Thank you so much for sending stars. It's a new week and we're hoping for a good start for everybody. Hey Linda, hey Tosca, thank you so much for the stars. How are you? Hey Polixania, happy Monday. Hey Carol. Oh. <laughs> I'm try I have my ups and downs about um, creating content. So in a new development, <laughs> are you ready to hear a, a new story? So you know that photographer will always bully me. So he basically play a mind game where I do not want to be around him. So I avoid going to sets because he's so toxic and I avoid standing next to him because he's so toxic. And that's why I have my angles are not as good. And I stay there less because I do not want to hear his toxic words or being anywhere in his vicinity. Um, so lately he's been showing up with a girl and that's after a year, two years, he'd been like, you're a blogger. You cannot be on the set. You cannot have a press pass. You do not have the permission to be on set because you just have a phone and you do not have a camera. That's me mimicking him. Um, so now this person, has a new girlfriend and she's a new content creator in New York City and before she met him she was just a small creator nobody cared about but now now he takes her to all the filming sets she stands by his side so she has the best angles on whatever is happening there. Nobody tells her, oh, you cannot film that. Oh, you cannot stand here. Oh, you cannot be here. Cause he's by her side and nobody's messing with him cause he's toxic. Um, 
So, you know, once he's on set, nobody says anything to him because he's a man with two cameras. Um, so she's by his side with her phone, I might add. She do not have any camera. And he takes her to all the filming sets. Shh. He probably gets his information from the police. That's my guess. Um, yeah, and she has like really good angles. And she got some really good videos. And now she's a rising star on Instagram. And, but the good thing that once she's on set, once she's he, with him on set, he cannot be toxic. He cannot curse. He cannot shove people. He cannot do anything because she'll see it. So he has to be on his best behavior, which is so nice. I've seen these two on the last, on the last three filming sets. And I'm like, wow, he didn't say a word. He didn't come close to me. He didn't look at me. He didn't try to take photos of me. I'm like, that's amazing. What, what's going on? And then I'm like, oh, it's probably because of the girl. And today, one of her videos popped up on my page and I connected the dots on that. So that's, that's the story. So now, for one hand, it's good because I do not need to worry about him once she's in the picture, but only when she's there. The minute she steps outside, so the last set was uh, American Horror Story. He had the best angle. I did not want to stand next to him. So I was on the side. And then at one point he came to the side, he got away from her. And then he was just cursing me because she couldn't hear that. And then he went back to her and back to behaving. Um, he is really, I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like it. So I'm happy that he's behaving. I am not happy about this girl coming into this picture because she basically have a watchdog on her side, protecting her from all this, the scene and giving her the red carpet um, for everything. Really giving her the red carpet. She does not need to deal, n not with the production, not with nothing, nothing. Giving her the red carpet to capture these scenes and all she has to do is to be pretty and to be by his side, like his, she's his girlfriend. That's all she has to do. I, <laughs> I find it to be one of life, um, um, like life, life is unfair, <laughs> but that's a, like a really good example. I was working hard to get to my position and she just got the red carpet. She just got the red carpet. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, really, I'm, I'm, that's, it is what it is. And now I have to. figure out everything from the start. It, like whenever I do something, it's like really, I started with these live videos on 20, whenever the live videos went out first, I immediately started doing live videos. And now everybody's, everybody's doing live videos from everywhere, everywhere in the world. You can find videos everywhere in the world. You wanna see Spain, you wanna see Italy, you wanna see Africa, you can find live videos. Okay, walk into Times Square. But I am blocked. Can I squeeze through, please? Um, and also, you know, with all the events in the city, 
I was sharing them and then everybody started sharing them and it was there was nothing special about it anymore but this this is a different story this is a totally different story I do not, I <laughs> do not have the desire to, I do not know her. I saw her, she's very pretty, she seems a nice person. I don't know, I never talked to her, I don't know what she's doing with this person. I know that um, that person have two sides, very different sides, and one of them is very professional and nice and the other is uh, a demon basically and I'm sh pretty sure that he cannot hold a relationship without showing his other side pretty sure but I do not know what's the base of the relationship and how much they see each other but for now he is taking her to every set and she is getting the red carpet to every set. And I find it extremely annoying, extremely. I, I, I'm, not li I, I'm not gonna lie about this. This is extremely annoying. <laughs> like, can you imagine? And after all the, the word is spent, you cannot stand here with a camera, with a phone, filming with a phone. And now he brings this girl to stand by his side and take videos. I don't know you guys. Um, Forty fifth. There are there is always something going on on Broadway, like a new play, or they have this event. But on Pride Month, they have more events than usual. Um, some of them are not too exciting, but some are. So, I don't know. But just um, following all their events uh, can be very time consuming um uh, uh, yeah time square in all its glory right there it's so noisy in here like i cannot i'm gonna go through 46th street you know what i enjoyed about the past week where I did not share a lot. Um, I shared like a few moments with the family basically, but what I liked about it is that there were things happening in the city and I missed them and I didn't care about missing these events. And that was so refreshing because usually I feel so bad for missing a good event, but this week, I didn't care. I miss the Pride Parade. I've been covering the Pride Parade for, I don't know, seven years now? Seven years and I missed it completely. And I didn't care. I did not care. Oh, there were other things, but you know, just one example. Okay, I <laughs> I need to go sniff around for something <laughs> in Times Square. Um, so thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed this Rockefeller Times Square walk. I know we haven't done these live videos for a week, about a week, but um, hopefully I'm back on schedule.
hopefully. Anyway, you guys have a have a great, great, great week, and I will see you soon. Thank you for all the love and support. Bye, guys. <laughs>